Hello, it's Christine Saxon. I am out in my kayak and uh, of course I want to talk to you about paddle your own boat. So today I'm actually in the Courtney Slough and you can see behind me some lovely boats. This seemed like a great place for this theme. <laughs> I had a student in the advanced leadership program class that I teach um, bring up this wonderful metaphor, this, this actually this line that she uses. When she finds that she's worrying about what other people will think or going against what what she thinks is right but going hmm what would this person say she says it's something like um, I need to stop letting people rent space in my head or I need to stop renting space to people in my head um, and so this this made me think of it here are these boats paying more you know they pay moorage to be here and they're renting space well I don't know about you but when I get overly concerned about what others might be thinking or I'm worried about the impact I had on them I don't even charge moorage and I'll find that I will be out for a whole paddle sometimes or I'll drive all the way home and realize I have thought of nothing I've, I've not seen where I am I've not enjoyed hearing the birds I you know that automatic oh my gosh I got home and I don't even know how I got here like just so subconsciously because we're worrying we're worrying about what we said what someone is going to think of us, um, what they meant by something they said, um, and we rent space to them in our own thoughts. Now I'm, I'm hearing from people that this is more so for some of us and that it gets in the way of paddling our own boat. And I have, a, I have an example of uh, one of the wonderful people I'm coaching who um, um, I always like to, to fit my coaching with the person and meet them where they are. And in this case, I know that the person is Christian. And when we were talking about, wow, like she, you know, she just, she doesn't always think, what do I want? And what's, what matters to me in this? So as we were pondering this together, I said, what's that, what's that acronym, WWJD? And she said, yeah, what would Jesus do? And so I took her name, let's just say her name was Christine. And I said, I wonder what would happen if you had a bumper sticker that said WWCD? What would Christine do? And we used her name. And her face lit up and she went, I need to write that down. Oh my gosh, I need to write that down. And she's reminding herself now to paddle her own boat and go, oh, I'm worrying about others. I'm worrying about what people might think. I'm worried about what someone else would do in this case. And really, what would I do? And she's learning to say, what do I want for dinner? Where do I want to go tonight? What do I want to do in my spare time? So I wonder how many of you that resonates with, you know, in your, in your personal life. I have another person who I'm, I'm coaching regularly who has had this huge realization. She has now taken over as um, team leader for a team and is in the same unit, the same branch, the same department that she kind of grew up in in her career. And there was a leader before her who had some really specific ways of doing things and she'll know who she is so I'm I'm sharing your wonderful example confidentially because it's so worth sharing and you're having so much so much um, real success with it so she is untethering herself from she's she's watching for times going oh why do we do it this way why am I reacting this way and then she'll go oh it's because of how the leader that was my mentor did things huh how do I want to do them and how do we need to do them today so she's paddling her own boat she's no longer renting space in her head to those just automatic ways of doing things that were so important to that past leader and she is just growing both of these women are just growing in their their personal power and their swagger you know your swagger how you're just like yeah I got this we walk or we paddle or and we're just like yeah I'm good I'm not overly confident but I'm leaning into me I'm honoring what I need ultimately I'm paddling my own boat so I share those two wonderful examples to help you if you are realizing that you could do a little more of asking your you could do a little bit more asking yourself what do I want what do I need what's my opinion in this what would I do happy paddling <laughs>